champion back in his home country. He is as precise as any striker in the octagon today. And the national amateur boxing champion lacks no confidence as he enters the octagon again tonight. Conor McGregor has that it factor, along with a fantastic and creative striking game, a very good ground game, and extreme confidence in himself. All these make for a fan favorite combination. Conor McGregor steps inside the octagon, and he's ready to fight. Makes his way out of the tunnel, and he looks ready to go. This guy has lightning-fast hand speed. His combinations come swiftly and from all angles. Duho Troy set to go to battle here tonight inside Toyota Center in Houston, Texas. Tale of the tape for this featherweight fight. McGregor is three years his elder. He will have a four-inch reach advantage. And now with our official introductions, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment You've all been waiting for live from the sold out Toyota Center in Houston, Texas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC featherweight division. It's an easy push. This man is a mixed martial artist with a professional record of 20 wins, 3 losses. He stands 5 feet 9 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Dublin, Ireland, the notorious Connor McGregor! And now we can see his opponent. This man is a mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 14 wins, one loss. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting at a groovy South Korea, the Korean Super Bowl, Doho Choi. All right, good to be using the locker room. Once you build my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. A nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back your corners, come out. Man, Joe, we have been waiting a long time for this one. It's finally here. Duho Troy, Conor yeah. McGregor. Here, here we go! Five five-minute rounds. White trunks for McGregor. Black trunks for Troy. Make no mistake about it. Conor McGregor is for real. He's very good at utilizing all of his reach, turning that shoulder, fighting long. Very nice timing with these shots here. Oh! Troy with a good jab. Troy gets caught by the kick to the midsection. Flying oh. knee! Nice jab. Vicious shot to the body. His knees. That's a big hook. That punch was blocked. He clipped him with that one. Caught him again with a hook. And he parries that shot. There's a nice knee to the bottom. Troy gets caught by that straight left. 
And he connects with the punch. <laughs> nice straight left. There it is again. Now they're turning it up. Conor McGregor with some nasty body shots. Just like you said, Joe, he's doing a great job utilizing those body strikes. Back to over under control. Good work in the clinch by Chor. Foot stomp. Struggling to get to clinch. And he pummels out of it. They separate. Excellent head movement. A 360 degree spinning back oh, kick. Oh, he gets tagged. Man, he's in big trouble here. Oh, my. Oh, oh that rocks him. Huge right hand shot that got him the victory. Joe, here's the finish on our fight replay. And here we see in the replay the big right hand that ends this fight. Let's see if we can get a better look at that from another angle. Here we see it again. Bam! Lights out. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliano has called a stop to this contest at 2 minutes, 14 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by Elham, the Korean Super Bowl, Du Ho Choi. Du Ho Choi, winner by knockout.